Imagine you're walking through the Siberian wilderness, cold, desolate, and seemingly untouched. But buried deep within a cave here, scientists discovered something extraordinary. Not a treasure, not a tool, but a finger bone. That small fossil, no larger than a coin, shattered everything we thought we knew about human history. It belonged to a long-lost cousin of ours, a group so mysterious, they were unknown to science until 2010. They are called the Denisovans. And now, scientists believe there weren't just one, but four divergent Denisovan populations that not only survived, they interbred with this and changed the course of human evolution. This is the untold story of the Denisovans, the hidden humans in our DNA. Who were the Denisovans? Denisovans are a sister group to the Neanderthals, both descending from a common ancestor that split from the Homo sapiens lineage over half a million years ago. But unlike Neanderthals, we don't have a single complete Denisovan skeleton. Only fragments. A finger bone, a molar, a jawbone from Tibet, and a few skull pieces. Yet through advances in ancient DNA extraction, those fragments revealed an entirely new human species. Their genetic code was different. Their features, likely broad, robust, and adapted to cold or high altitudes, remained a mystery until their genes were found in us. The discovery that changed everything the first hint came from the Denisova cave in the Altai Mountains of Siberia. A finger bone dated over 50,000 years old. But soon, more Denisovan fossils were discovered, thousands of kilometers apart. A jawbone from Tibet's Baishia cave showed Denisovans lived at high altitudes. A jaw dredged from the seafloor near Taiwan, Pengu 1, suggested their reach extended deep into Southeast Asia. And genetic evidence showed they lived from Siberia to Oceania. This geographic spread suggested something shocking. These weren't just one group of Denisovans. They were multiple, highly divergent populations. The four lineages of Denisovans, a groundbreaking study using whole genome analysis of modern human DNA revealed traces of not one, but four separate Denisovan lineages. Researchers labeled them based on genetic divergence. D0, the Altai Denisovans, the group whose bones were found in Siberia. D1, a population that contributed heavily to Papuans and indigenous Australians. D2, a lineage found in East Asians and Southeast Asians. D3, the most divergent and least understood, likely a ghost lineage that left DNA traces without any known fossils. These lineages were as different from each other as Neanderthals were from Denisovans. It was as if each Denisovan population evolved in isolation, adapting to their unique environments over tens of thousands of years. The interbreeding events modern humans migrating out of Africa didn't just encounter Neanderthals. They met multiple Denisovan populations, and interbred with them repeatedly. Genetic signatures tell us, Australo-Melanesians carry up to 5% Denisovan DNA, mostly from D1. East Asians, particularly Han Chinese and Japanese, show contributions from D2. Even some Native American populations carry traces of Denisovan admixture. The most high-altitude adapted gene in Tibetans, EPAS1, which helps them breathe in thin air, came directly from Denisovans. These weren't one-night encounters. They were generations of coexistence, exchange, and shared survival. What did we inherit from them? Denisovan genes didn't just mix with ours, they helped us thrive. Here's what we got. Immune system genes that helped us fight off unfamiliar viruses. Skin and hair traits adapted to UV levels and climate. Metabolism tweaks suited to high-fat diets or scarce resources. And, famously, EPAS1, the super gene, for high-altitude survival. In a way, they live on, not in bones, but in our breath, our blood, and our survival. The mystery still unfolds we've only scratched the surface of the Denisovan story. Most of their bones are still buried. Their cultures, tools, and languages, if they had any, are still lost to time. But through their DNA, they speak to us. And what they're saying is clear, humanity didn't evolve in a straight line. It was a tangled web of encounters, love, survival, and adaptation. In that web, Denisovans were not just a footnote. They were family. And they're still with us. So, what does it all mean? It means that we are not alone in our story.
Our DNA carries the whispers of ancient relatives, Denisovans, Neanderthals, and possibly even more undiscovered lineages. They didn't vanish entirely. They live on in us. If this journey into our shared prehistoric past fascinated you, don't forget to subscribe to Decoding History and Science, where we uncover the lost chapters of human evolution, ancient civilizations, and scientific mysteries that shape who we are today. Like the video, share it with fellow history lovers, and comment below, which Denisovan lineage do you think we'll uncover next? Thanks for watching. And as always, stay curious, stay human. This is Decoding History and Science.